So yesterday I posted an article that I found on abcnews.com about some parents who were protesting the new campers cruisers that have the new dry guard technology in them. Um, they are claiming that, um, first of all, the new diapers were being put into old diaper boxes that did not say that they had the new dry guard technology in them. And that some of these parents and their babies had been experiencing issues with the new campers. Um, a lot of the parents have said that their babies have had severe diaper rashes, allergic reactions, some of them even chemical burns that were diagnosed by their doctors. Now, Pampers right now is, of course, saying that it's not because of the Pampers that the child has diaper rash or maybe an allergic reaction to their food or diet or things like that. So um, I just wanted to look into it a little bit further, and I found out that there's also a Facebook group of parents who are protesting these diapers, and they have over 3,500 members of people who support this, believe in it, maybe experiencing it. So it's, it's, that's a lot of people. So I wanted to look into it a little bit more, and there's some pictures on there of these four rashes, and they're just horrible and hideous. And, you know, after their doctors have gone through it and evaluated the case, they seem to be the only thing that's changed has been their diapers. Um, now, I don't use campers. I actually use gloves. But still, it scares me a little bit because um, you truly don't really know what's in those diapers and when they're going to change that and put something new in them. They don't always tell you those things. And whenever my first, my son was first born, I um, I used campers swaddlers. And um, I think he was about two months old when I decided to switch to cloth diapering. So I took a leap and I invested a lot of money into cloth diapers. I bought um, Piccolo diapers and Thirsty Covers. And I used them for about two months. And then my little boy had a stomach bug, I guess. I'm not really sure what happened. But he had um, diarrhea for about three weeks straight. So we were at the doctor a lot. And the cloth thing did not fare well for me in that situation because I was changing his diaper probably about 10 times a day with diarrhea. So that was not, not fun for me at all. So after that stint, I kind of gave up on cloth diapers. Um, I just never seemed to be able to get it down completely good. And um, traveling with them was difficult for me. I think it's a great thing I do. And it's a wonderful thing if you can do it and um, pass off to everyone who does. So anyway, after reading these articles, it got me kind of fired up again and got me thinking about cloth diapering again. Now, I I knew I wasn't going to be able to dive into buying a whole new thing as cloth diapers. And he's 16 months old, so, you know, hopefully he won't be in diapers for too awful much longer. So I checked out G-diapers, which I had looked at before, but just didn't commit to. And I'm really excited because I have one here to show you. Yesterday, um, since G Doppers is now in Baby Their Eyes, um, I went and checked them out. I didn't get a pack of two pants for like twenty six dollars to get two of the pants. And then from then on out you just buy the refillable um, liners and I think they you get a case of thirty two for fourteen dollars. So pretty much comparable to disposable diapers. So I'm gonna show you what I have. Um, this is one of them. I got orange and blue. He has on the blue right now, so see that. But, um, this is what they look like. And the, the elastic is super, super soft. And, let's see. There, this is the back, actually. And the velcro comes off like this. And it's supposed to be so they can't pull their own diaper off. <laughs> it's around the back. So, here we have the C diaper. And, the the whole thing with this is that it comes, you buy these liners that come out, and these are 100% biodegradable, so it just looks like a bag, <laughs> and um, they're really big, so once you um, spray these out, you can either flush them, which I'm not going to do, I'm going to throw mine away, or you can throw them away um, because they're 100% biodegradable and they will compost within a month. So, and if you have a compost, you can get it in the compost. 
So this is the pad, <coughs> and now this is the inside of the diaper, and it's got this liner right here, and it's kind of like a shower cap sort of, you can do it that way, um, and they snap in and out, so if they get really dirty, you just snap them out, like this, and then if this would not get dirty, then you could step in the new one. But if it's just dirty, you can throw it in the wash. And it's just like a plastic, um, breathable liner. Um, sorry, my door just says to put me on. They said to wash it in cold and then let it air dry. And the thing is, you don't want it to get hot because the um, plastic is very So this is the liner, and then this is the pant. And it's like super hot. Like soft cotton, so really soft. So, it's that. And then when these get there, you just you close your tabs in and make sure that the velcro doesn't be able to close You know how that goes. Um, and then you just wash them with your clothes like normal. So, I'm really excited about this. I've been using them since yesterday, and we've had no leak. And the edges right here, this is what goes against their body. That is super soft, and I think it's the cloth ones is that the cover has this like plastic rim around it, and his little legs are just too jumpy, and they just can't handle that. So, um, this is the whole system. If you buy the two packs, then you get two pants and three plastic liners for $26. That's a pretty good, I think that's a pretty good deal compared to the whole cloth system. Um, so you get two pants, three liners, and then once you're like this, then you take your cloth, your um, pad, and you load your diaper. So you just put it inside. And it turns out looking like just like a diaper. So it's really awesome and I'm super excited about it and I can't wait to tell you hopefully I will succeed at this or not so. Um, so uh, super excited about that. And we've got a lot going on for the maternity fair. We're getting some really awesome prizes today. I'll do another video on that. But I um, hope everybody has a great day and I'll talk to you later. Bye!